Hello everybody and welcome and one way here with some more seven days to die Alpha 18 on the Mac We are at the traders from where we left off the last time and we we're gonna get ready to go get that buried uh, Supplies and bring it on back to the trader as soon as we get that done There's the flag flying above us. You hear that flapping around uh, We're gonna make our way over there <sighs> Really wish We had uh, oh, yeah, we got to eat this food is what we're gonna do i bought this food so we can eat it and get our stamina back up because i don't want to have to run around with no stamina and then dig a hole with no stamina and yeah you know the drills you know the drills we got some junk turrets we got the junk turret here junk in the trunk is coming with us we're gonna make sure that junker is full of ammo all right there junk in the trunk Let's put you back in the trunk for now, and we're going to walk with our uh, blade, and we're going to drop Junkie down when we start doing our stuff, and then we got to work on getting uh, the bike. It's day five. We got to get we gotta get ourselves a bike here. So, uh, I don't know. We got to get a workbench, too. We got the forge going, but we definitely have some work we got to do. But what I'm going to do right now is, like I said, make my way on over to this buried supplies and uh i'll bring it back when we're there and we're digging all righty folks so we're kind of close by we jumped up here but there's a there's a bear right over there with a fire zombie uh and we're really close it's like it's got to be like right where the bear is standing i'm hoping that he'll just continue to walk off and that fire that fire zombie either follows him or i think he saw me shoot uh yeah that's that's bad news that's bad news bears that bear is bad news bad news bears yep for sure uh so we're gonna kind of work our way around here and be very careful about what we're gonna do there is no way i'm taking on a bear at this point of the game probably even with the junk you know uh, i should probably have brought a different weapon I mean, I got the pistol, I got junk, but I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, what do I do? I mean, we, got, we got to take out the zombie, no matter what we do, because when we start digging, it's going to get interesting real quick. So come to me. I'm going to pull you away from that edge where the bear was, and hope that that bear just kept going and didn't stop. And then he's not going to turn around. <clears throat> Come on there, Mr. Zambi. You burn victim. Oh, he got me too. Oh, shoot. He's running. Couldn't get away from him because he started running. He did hit me. I didn't bring any bandages with me. Oh, not a good deal. We are so close to the edge of this thing here, where that bear might be. Uh, he went right down there. We're going to work our way around here, see if maybe we can't get to a position where we could see him. I just want to know where he is. Where are you? There he is. He's down in the, in the valley. All right, we might be okay. It's going to be a rough one, but we should be okay. And uh, this is pretty much the spot right here. I, I think we, I think we, we gotta, we gotta lay down Junker, right? We, we gotta put him like right there, just in case he's gonna be our backup. Because if that bear comes up while we're digging, we're, we're I probably won't know for one. And at least he can go off and kind of give me the warning. So we're going to continue to dig here, and if uh, if and when I find this thing, uh, I'll let you guys know. It's going to get interesting fast. If uh, that bear realizes we're up here digging away, and he makes his way back up. Oh my gosh, it was right there in front of me the whole time. 
right there to the side, but I need a, I need a way out of here before I do this. I need a clear and easy path out. All right, there we go. And here come the zombies. All right, good XP. Let's grab junk in the trunk and get the hell out of here. Woo! All right, you know what though? We took we took care of those uh, zombies. I'm feeling okay about what we did. Let's let's work on this for a little bit. Do you get any honey? No honey. All right, I'm okay with that too. But we're gonna work our way back down here. We gotta be careful on our way down so we don't break an ankle, break a leg, or whatever. And uh, yeah, let's get on back to the trader. We did it. All right, I'll see you guys when we get back to the trader. Cool. All right, we are coming up on the trader, and we're gonna give back his his uh, buried supplies. We'll see what he has to offer us as a uh, reward. I'm excited that we did that uh, little perk so we can get the extra item to choose from, which is really cool. Uh, while we're making our way up here, oop, gotta get upstairs. Like I'm drunk. Uh, while I'm making my way up here, I just wanna say thank you to uh, the comments that I've been getting. Uh, the couple guys in there, Monster and Jed, and uh, yeah, guys, it's been really long, and but I'm back, and oh my gosh, what 44 Magnum ammo, a hundred of them. I would love to take this and scrap it down, but this is, I don't think I could pass it up. That ammo is going to be amazing when it comes time. And then we get 5,000 XP. They should put us over the top. Uh, or, no, close to over the top. But, uh, oh, we have another reward? Complete one. Tier one complete. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you for Survivor. Thank you, Survivor, for finishing some of those tasks for me. Here's a reward for all your hard work. Check back tomorrow, and I will have some harder jobs for you that you should be more rewarding. Excellent. Do we want the art of mining? Do we want the motor tool large tank mod or 200... Uh, uh, 9 millimeter ammo plus we get 2,000 do coins as well this here gives me uh, diamond tools don't go sourdough when you break your pick craft you can craft diamond tipped blade mods for tools that dramatically increases durability <sighs> that means I'm gonna have to find probably like I don't know diamond in the game in order to make that though so I don't know how useful that's gonna be early on and I could probably find that mod somewhere too laying around um what's gonna be more valuable to me is what it comes down to all right might be a mistake but i'm gonna grab the ammo i feel like ammo is gonna be uh you can always find a lot of ammo but i feel like ammo is gonna kind of be our best mm, i want to do a lot of digging i want to do a lot of digging but it's gonna is it gonna benefit me now i'm gonna i'm not even gonna make it that uh, diamond tip thing Diamond tools, yeah, diamond tip blades, probably going to need diamonds. And I don't know how hard they are to find. I don't think I've ever found a diamond in Alpha 18 uh, in any of my playthroughs. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Shoot. All right, we're checking the ammo. 2,000 Duke coins as well. Uh, let's go. Does he have any jobs? Nah, we're not going to do any of those. Um, let's see his inventory. We could probably sell it. Yeah, it's only nine, and it's only eight. I'm gonna scrap those down. I'll just use the brass and stuff. Uh, he'll take five paper for three, which is fine. We'll just do that. We got some more clay. We got a few pieces of stone here. What would he take those back for? He'll sell it for three cents a piece. So if I give him all 100, he gives me 300 coins. Like that's only 800 coins though. He hasn't restocked yet either. I don't think there's anything I can really use though from him. I'm not gonna sell you my my ammo. No, that's not happening. <clears throat> uh, what does he have here? 
anything useful at all. Automatic weapons handbook. I tell my privates don't flinch. Use a technique to walk your fire into target when automatic when fire automatic weapons. Fully automatic is more accurate with each shot fire. Yeah, that's what I want. Need that. Military armor schematic. It's gonna be a while before I can do that too. Wasteland treasures. Acid, yeah. Dude, there's really nothing here that I can use right now per se. Uh, I'm really excited excited by these uh HP things here. A jacketed hollow point round uses a firearm ammunition to substantially increase base damage but ineffective against heavy armor. That's fine. I, I know I, that's okay. It's gonna be amazing. We got armor piercing here stuff here too. And then we picked up two hundred more of those. We got plenty of bullets to kind of roll around with here. Um no tools that I want. He's got forged steel. could use mechanical parts but I don't see those I think I need 20 so we have to go bring out some some shopping carts and stuff like that really kind of find our way around and I'm not gonna sell any of this other stuff all right you're welcome to you too sir so anyway I say like I, said, I wanted to say thank you to uh, some of the guys out there Austin as well leaving a comment he's been around for a long long time uh, thank you guys if you continue to watch I appreciate it uh, get the word out there that I'm back and I'm trying to stay with this now. Having a lot of fun. And uh, I just want to really thank you guys. You kind of stuck it out with me from the beginning. And, and I appreciate you still sticking around for me. And uh, we'll, hopefully we'll all be able to chat soon. If I can get myself into a live stream uh, one of these days again. I'd love to do some more live streaming too. Alright, I'll see you when I get back to the base. Alright, we're back to home sweet home here. I got my little watchtower, which I kind of hang out and hide in at night. <laughs> it's not going to last very long, that thing, that's for sure. We got to get working on this is what we got to do. Um, otherwise, we're going to be in a whole mess of trouble real quick. Uh, let's lay that down and step up there. Oh, went the wrong way, but whatever. And start working on some of this stuff here. We're going to get uh, all these wood frames upgraded. Uh, we got to get some of the wood frames laid down as well. So we definitely have some work to do here on the base. And... You get a lot done. We're going to step outside here for a second to close this up. That's good. That one's done. And then we have probably this other one over here, right? Yeah, this one needs to be done. Cool. Good. All right. Now I think we can finally put a roof in here, too, which will be cool. Um, no, this will be too short. I want to go up one more. Okay. Definitely want to go up one more. So, we're going to step up like that. We're going to do... Oh, we need more uh, wood frames. Let's do 30 of these these joints. And see how that's going to work out for us. And let's get... Uh, these corner ones upgraded. There we go. Upgraded. We are now a level 14 and we have four skill points to dump in. That's always fun. Alright, let me fill out the rest of these that are missing. And then it'll be high enough for me to actually have a roof. I don't want it to be too low down. Otherwise, I feel like I'm walking in like this tiny ass little bunker and I don't want that. Um. Not that this room's going to matter much to us. Everything's going to kind of be underground. And that's going to be the most important area for us anyway. When we do all of this stuff. And uh, we got to get that upgraded to cobblestone for sure. Because if they do break in, I'm going to put my workbench down below here with the uh, with the forge. I'll pick up that forge over there. I'll probably oh, I'll have to get a land claim block too somehow. Um, 
But yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then it's gonna be fun. We'll put that there like that as we put all these in for a roof of sorts. And then I'll probably have to get a. Ooh, we need more. We need more uh, frames. We're gonna need a lot more frames, I believe. I mean, we got a lot more building to do. Clearly, fourteen. That's pretty good. Uh, so we should just fill this in all the way, and then uh, it's gonna be that one there. So we move that frame. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm gonna continue to beat on the walls here. To upgrade them, not to take them down. <laughs> and I will uh, catch you guys in a little bit on all of this. Okay, so we finished up that piece over there. Uh, that piece, that, the base. We're going to close off that door, but we're going to do a little bit more work on the, the shaft over here. We're going to work hard on that. And then I uh, did some organizing of stuff here with the crates. I don't know if I showed this before, but I'm going to show it again. Oh, I made a land claim block to put down here as well. I've got all this stuff rolling here, so we're looking pretty good. There's my uh, hollow point rounds for the Magnum. Now I just got to find a Magnum. We're trying to craft one if I get the parts for it. That's going to be really cool if we can uh, do that. It's going to be absolutely amazing, actually. Uh, my forge could use some wood to kind of go in there. I should have lit that up and when I left, but I did not think about that. I'm going to have to get some more iron in there, too. I really don't want to use too much of this, but... I mean, I don't know what to do. I, I just, we gotta get some more irons when it comes down to. We're gonna smelt that all over. That's gonna be like around 500 iron. It's not much. We do have 22 forged and 5 steel. <clears throat> and our land claim block, we could put down there for now. Where am I gonna drop this land claim block? I wanna drop it somewhere nearby. Uh, maybe if I could just put it right there. I mean, right? Oh, wait, let's see what it, uh, let me step outside of here and take a look from the outside. Oh, the mountains are pretty big on this. All right. I'm digging that. It goes up pretty high too, which is good. That'll keep them from spawning over here for sure. Do I still have that one over there showing up? No, I don't. So that one became deactivated. So you can only have one at a time, which I completely suspected i mean i wasn't uh, thinking that i could have two it'd be kind of cool if we could have two but uh, i'll take that and what else do we need here i think that's really it uh, i think i'm going to continue to work on we may have to hit up some trees i only got about 1300 wood do i have any in here as a stash did i stash any i did not stash any so we're going to take half of this and stash it and go get more and then uh i'm going to continue working a little bit on here and i might bring it whoa 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 Almost fell off there. That would have been very bad. Uh, I'm going to bring it back in when I have something more interesting to kind of show off and talk about. All right, we're back in, and uh, we had a little zombie friend that decided to come and join us, which uh, is not cool. But, I mean, it is what it is, right? So, uh, we had to get our axe fixed, which we did. We got some ammo here, and then we got our shovel. We might need to repair the shovel very soon, which is okay. We got Junkie watching our back for us. The Junkster. I'm not junk in the trunk. Uh, am I able to make any dirt with this? I can. So let's make some dirt here. Let's make a couple of pieces of dirt. Just dirt. That's all it is. It's just dirt. And uh, I want to lay some blocks down here. And fill some stuff in. And work on this. We're going to build a nice little frame around this area. Uh, you got to go. So that it all works out very nicely. And this is kind of what we're going to do for the for the remainder of the uh, the night until the, the night bell. The evening here until the night bell. And 
That's it, real. I mean, that's really it. Yeah, we got a, we got a, we got a lot of work to do. So that's what we're gonna kind of work on. There we go. That's not bad. I like it. Yeah. So we're gonna. We got four frames left to kind of fill all this stuff in here, and that's gonna kind of do our little uh, hole right down that way. And we'll see if we can build ourselves a ladder on there. To kind of get up and down hopefully get all and we can seal that off finally so because we can get into that base from over here we'll build the hatch on top of that and uh junk in the trunk here is going to watch my back as we do it over the evening but i want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out with me as we did some running around and kind of making a little bit of progress here and there um a little bit of an uneventful video but we kind of like those two once in a while just getting some things done that we need to get done and that's really it but anyway thank you for stopping by i'll see you soon Bye -bye.